Today is a day to honor veterans, and our Ileana Capian joins us live from the newsroom to tell us about how some local veterans are helping others adjust to the home front. Ileana, good evening. Good evening, Paige. Jim Gilhouse and Wayne Wigglesworth are two local veterans that are using their motorcycle clubs as a way to spread camaraderie, brotherhood, and veteran suicide awareness through Project 22. When you look back to the history of motorcycle clubs, the military service is very steeped in tradition in all four branches. And that culture is carried over to the very foundation of the motorcycle clubs. From the very beginning, it all started with military veterans returning from World War I, World War II with a surplus of military motorcycles and looking for the brotherhood that was missing in civilian life. The veterans say it's no different today. Being a part of veteran motorcycle clubs helps them feel the bond of brotherhood, a bond that is needed in more ways than one. Once you've been in the military and once you've become a veteran, especially if you've seen combat, it will forever alter you both physically and mentally. My dad used to always say, if the demons that live inside my head didn't need my body for transportation, they'd have killed me a long time ago. The men and their motorcycle clubs are trying to bring awareness to Project 22. We lose 22 veterans a day to suicide, and through the struggles of those demons, there's a quote that we hear all the time that we're very committed to. When the demons come for you, brother, in your darkest hour, call on me and we'll face them together. Both Gilhouse and Wigglesworth have turned to their motorcycle clubs in their darkest of hours. I've been both suicidal and homicidal. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for my club. I was in a bad place. I ran into a member. Uh, we served together. I didn't even know he was in a club. We talked. He invited me out to go for a ride. And it, it, that led to another thing, to another thing, and, and it, that's why I'm alive today. The men say using this holiday as a way to think a veteran could save a life. Through this weekend, this Veterans Day week, and if you see somebody that, that served, thank them for their service. It means a lot. It's not just saying thank you for your service. Like we've talked about with, with Project 22, making that person feel appreciated in that very moment. You may not know it, but you could be saving their life. This weekend, the U.S. Veterans Motorcycle Club will be hosting a poker run and Southeast Vet Fest in Daleville beginning at 9.30 Saturday morning. For more information, you can visit their Facebook page at us-veteransmc-alabama state. The proceeds will go towards the local disabled American veterans Ozark chapter. And on behalf of all of us here at WDHN, we want to say thank you and wish all of our veterans a happy Veterans Day. Indeed, all right. Thank